hey guys hope you are doing well yeah so on today's video what is the hardest part i'm um i wrote some of them here so don't worry if i i keep on looking down i'm 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 reading the questions so what is the hardest part about leaving the village there are a lot of things hey one of them i'm not used to the rain it really rains so if i'm somewhere or i've gone to town i'm an imenda market i just want to go very early in the morning or around 10 and then i come back before the afternoon because if the rain gets you there <laughs> and the roads are really bad now uh, it has been raining and i don't know if it's soil erosion so i avoid that for me that is a challenge because i can't do a uh, things for long i just have to do things in a rush way the second thing back home <laughs> i've overstayed here so being here but i love it because i met mom and she's continued going she's good now but don't mind them they are our neighbors so um, the second challenge that i'm still talking about is living here at home i think um i'm i'm ready now to move and go maybe near town or the, near the market uh, i know mom will be left alone but she's now okay she can do her things she can see i can be visiting maybe during the weekends so i feel like that it's time for me to move out the third i've seen here there are no jobs there are too many barriers I was so happy just recently I saw a wedding so it was something at least they break the monotony of barriers you hear people crying and all that it really, it really makes you think a lot yeah I don't know if I have answered you but those are the main challenges I'm facing now the jobs getting jobs starting a business you have to be financially stable. YouTube pay it's hard. Creating content is hard. You have to be financially able to go places and video. But I, I'm thinking maybe January, come January, by God's grace, I'll start doing that. Or this December after, I'll be a bit free. Yeah. And then what else? I've said uh, the rains. I wear water The roads are really bad. you fall down. And also, I've been convincing myself of staying here in the village with my mom, but. I'm growing old. I need to find something. Yeah. So. Uh, even finding stability. Okay. The other fourth one. It's finding stability to save. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Be, I'm not. I try saving and then something comes up. You know, having a kid, you have to to be to save, and you don't. You never know when you save. Maybe there is school fees. I'm not working. I have to to do work here and there, uh, and the support I get from people here, I really, really thank you. But I really need to do something to be able to save and yeah you can see it's 
it's drizzling now and it's around how what time i don't know it's very early in the morning so do you think you will be able the second question is do you think you will be able do you think you'll be staying in the village forever like can i be able to live here forever no <laughs> i've just answered your question before i don't think i'll be staying here forever it has being a city girl it is quite slow here for me not for others for me it's quite slow and i don't here in the reserve but in kissy town maybe in towns market life is faster there so i feel like i'm wasting my time here at home i need to do something and relocate or move I'm not relocating i'm moving maybe to just start living by my own yeah with my son so guys don't say if i've been living here forever if you really knew me or those people who know me they're really shocked that i'm still in kisi living in the village because I, I love challenges i don't like just sitting there i do love challenges i do love working but searching for work but i'm a dead end so i'll just start doing something else i've started businesses when you're in, in your own ground people love lending and they don't even if any business here most people don't end up doing business good business so to answer you I I actually don't think I'll live here for a long time but it would be kind of cool to live maybe on another city or another town or another place maybe the market or the town maybe I relocate to Kisi town it was very nice I really liked and enjoyed there so maybe I'll move maybe to I'll be here and maybe move to Kisi town or Keumbo market or any place I think it will be kind of cool uh, so and those people maybe will be asking why I came back you know my answer but I really love the stability here for my son uh, it provides stability for him instead of moving here and there hmm. but I would love to move near someday by God's grace but they do still live with the mother in the village yes I still live with her and the reason that I've overstayed here she was not feeling well for a long time but now she's good she can do her jobs she can go to the shamba she can see yeah she was complaining about mild headaches every day so we went to to Kisi I innovative and she was she's now okay she had a problem with her cutter catalytic the cataract yeah but now she's okay maybe I'll be with her on my life you can ask her there anything you can ask both of us anything <sighs> number four what good place do you recommend to visit when someone visits your county or village when someone visits here there are a lot of uh, tourism attractions there are new hotels so if you want bed and bed and breakfast there's some other place in in town kisi town it's called deep plus deep plus <laughs> i'll correct it when i remember they have a bed and breakfast they have uh, near machoma there so i recommend there another place is if you love clubbing going out during the night there is a uh, whiskey river lavella uh, 
but I loved Lavella. If you love crowns, you can go there or Whiskey River. There are two places. They are nice. And there's Seven Seas. If you want Samaki, you get there. Another place is Camel Park. If you enjoy swimming. And then there's a new place called Maya. Maya Hotel. Maya Hotel is the best. It also has a swimming pool. But it's a bit affordable. Uh, quite Eco expensive Kiasi, so it's a bit expensive for people living in Kiasi, some of the people. But if you can afford, you can go to Maya. This is I comment is Maya. It, is, it has the best food also. Mm. In Keroka, there's a new hotel. Keroka Hotel, it's called Keroka Hotel. And then where else? There's Village Park. It's around Keumbu, a few meters from Keumbu, Timeremo. And then, well, what place? If you love, um, love, you can go to Kera Falls, Nyakwana Falls, in Nyamira, there is Kera Falls, waterfalls. Uh, you can go to Soap to see how they, where they, uh, they get their soaps from in Chabaka. Oh, hell. Those are the places I know for now, but you can go there and visit. Uh, for good food, you can go to Diplos. Dip Diplos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, it quite well. Kunanyakoi Hotel. There are many places you can visit here when once you're here. And then... Um, if you love the view, you can go to Camel Park. It's uh, on your way to Kilgoris. The view is amazing. You can go there also. Uh, so I've told you different types. It depends on what you love. You can go to either of that, those places. And you can still continue learning most places. And then... Hmm, How's, how's COVID situation over here? Mm -hmm. And people, and there's no shutdowns. People are, are finding ways to work around. Yeah. Number six, have you ever encountered a really dangerous situation in your village? As I told you early, I've been very lucky. <laughs> I've never encountered, thank God, because mostly I'm indoors. When it reaches around uh, 6 to go, any 20, we go late, to end our late sana, which that late, it's around 6 a.m. 6 p.m., that's when I'm in the house. I'm already in the house, so I'm lucky. I'm thank I thank God. Those are some of the things people do here. You'll hear people. Someone has stolen goats, chicken, um, cow. What else? There's a small boat still. If he finds a door open, he sleep under the bed, and then he can still cooking oil, those kind of things. But on a real dangerous situation, um, thank God I've never experienced. Uh, I, how much does a haircut or a hairstyle cost? <sighs> for kids here, I know for kids it's around 20. If it's a, it comes with style, it's 50. That is 50, 0 0.5 cents. Uh, if it's just normal cut, it's 0 0.2 cents. That is 20 shillings, Kenyan shillings. Um, if you go to town, it's from 100, 100 shillings. How much is 100 shillings in dollars? It's 100 Kenyan shillings or 150. Depends on where you're going to get your cut from. I also saw a, a very nice spa along uh, 
old complex building next to the place where we, I love taking my having my fast foods. It's an old complex building. Yeah, they have a very cute spa. Do you now prefer city life or village life? Guys, I prefer city life. I really prefer city life. Yeah. So guys, those are some of the questions I have. I hope I've answered correctly. And see you on my live video. Hope my mom will be around and you can ask there anything. You can ask her anything you want to know uh, about her eye surgery. You can ask her anything. You can also ask me anything. And I'll do my best to answer those that can be able to answer. Or you can ask me on Instagram. My Instagram is at being Mona Kenya. Facebook is Mona Africa. And yeah. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video and see you on my next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.